Hello and welcome. It is uh, Wednesday, the 5th day of October 2016. This is the Silver Charts channel and the daily, weekly, and monthly charts are the ones I'm going to present for today. Not much here on the daily. It's going sideways. Support has been found a little bit. Two sessions now. Hasn't rallied much from it. So in order for me to say that this is decent support, I'm going to need to see a few days of this area being support or move up well into the 18s, 18 and a third to 18 and a half range for a price correction. Yesterday's break of such of 18 and a half did turn this into a bear market on the daily time frame. It'll stay in such until this band at least flattens out. But uh, for now, we'll see how this uh, 1770 holds as the possible Fibonacci support level in which it is. Weekly chart. Well, from this leg here, you had this significant rally up to 21. So it's given back, well, what's about two thirds of it, as we can see on the previous chart. So it hasn't killed this rally as of yet. So just because it has a significant break below this 18 average doesn't mean the trend is reversing. But for such to occur, it's broken below. If this is the established support, well, that's where it's going to be. But it would need to rally at some point, And it is due to, or you can say it's oversold on the short-term time frame. Thus, a favorite for short-term rallies to occur. And on such... After a rally, then you will know that this is what the number is. If and when it breaks it, it would be thus into a bear market failing to do such. If this happens to be the bottom and everything gets back higher again, then I'll be talking about a fail breakdown. And such is possibly the case on the monthly chart because this one is a doozy of a setup when you're taking a look at it. Yeah, in the previous times, I've talked so much about well how this has worked so well uh, as far as support resistance levels. And uh, as far as the 18 average is concerned, it's been in the downward spiral for quite some time up until this year as it's had the rally from uh, about 14 upwards to 21. And... Step one to reverse this trend is the band to flatten out. That occurs in here. Step two is establish a level of resistance at 21. Step three, come back to the 18 average band. That occurred yesterday. Step four, rally back up to 21. That hasn't started yet. And then the next step is breaking that point. And when that occurs, you'd be looking for a move to the next key point in at 25. But if you have a situation where you've got the consistent downtrend like this, you have the best rally that it's had within the period, which got above this, this, and this high, or the entire last leg lower has been destroyed. If that fails, which would be shown in here, then that ain't looking so pretty. And of course, it would, uh, for that step, it would go, have to go back down here and be, okay, it looks as if on the break of 13 and change, she's going to be harsh. It's going to be bad. I think within these markets, I can't see that happening. But I think if it does, the most likely and almost only scenario will be some sort of flash crash where it goes down fast hard below that level, maybe several dollars below, and then regains them back quickly. Sort of like that occurred in 2008 and 2009 when it went down to $8 an ounce back in here where it went down fast and then it got them back quickly. So that's what I would expect on the if case scenario. I think it's a better chance that this scenario is not going to fail and it is going to probably find support within this band and then, of course, go higher. I don't think the support test is going to fail.
but I might be wrong and that's my opinion on such. I'd like to uh, thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.